recruiting is very difficult for a PhD candidate. The job market season is challenging and trying, but over the course of that eight months, I realized that the interviews with consulting firms were the ones I was most drawn to. It's nice to know that you can be in an environment where you're actively doing research and actively teaching, but changing the world around you. I chose consulting because I was interested in primarily doing work that was directly relevant to people um, and to clients, and I wanted to work on a, ver a wide variety of different projects and have access to incredible data that you can't get outside of a client relationship. I chose economic consulting for various reasons. One is I wanted to apply the academic knowledge to real world problems. Two, I wanted to work with teams, people that I could brainstorm ideas with. And third, I wanted more of a quicker turnaround and more feedback than what I found in academia. I was able to help write the public interest statement and conduct a lot of the analyses that directly went into the decision for the agency. And so it was really cool when that merger finally went through and I knew I had a very direct role in that merger being approved. The very first project I worked on here was a big merger project and I was assigned a piece of it where we had to run some a complicated set of regressions and I use you know the econometric knowledge that I have and my own experience as an academic. An official governing body has, has put out a disclosure order saying I can testify to issues of economics. I mean having a PhD is one thing but being recognized by an outside body that I am an expert is it's a pretty great feeling. It's been really refreshing to have the amount of interaction with, with colleagues uh, working on very similar things within my practice after being in grad school or to have people to ask, ask direct questions about I'm having problems with this line of code, can you help me fix it? That kind of interaction has been really wonderful. A lot of the people that I work with here have PhDs in economics. It is absolutely crucial. I could not have done my work without, uh, without my degree. Um, it is uh, essential to the kind of uh, thinking that we do here to analyzing the problem that we are facing. My PhD is in finance and knowing the finance literature and being able to do academic research has been very helpful for the cases. Often we're working with academic experts and they know the field and we should know the field as well. My writing has improved. It's transitioned a little bit from more of technical writing to explaining um, concepts to a broader audience such as lawyers. My background's in applied microeconomics. I, my dissertation's in labor and development. I designed experiments with behavioral insights and I'm currently working in competition. And I thought that was going to be a big stretch. And it's not. Once you have the foundation and you have the tools that come out of your PhD, you'd be amazed how many different questions you can answer with that. And I thought that was going to be a struggle and a challenge and so far it hasn't been at all. It's just been a new adventure in economics.